Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Work in Progress. So, in this video, I want to share with everyone how I made and use flaxseed gel for the past seven days to achieve hair growth as well as to stop my hair from breaking. First off, I just want to say that these results are super shocking for me because for my 4C hair, it would take me usually about a year to add inches to my hair. If you're new to my channel, thanks for popping by. Also, just take a second and hit that subscribe button right below. All right, so keep watching if you want to find out how to make flaxseed gel for your hair as well as if you want to see the results that I got in seven days. All right, guys. So as you can see, my hair is super dry. It's hard. It's coarse. And it's a lot to manage. I don't know if you can see up close, but it was a hot mess. Okay, so that is what the gel looks like. As you can see, it's a gooey, slimy texture, and my hair is inside. <laughs> okay, so the process of making the gel is actually not that difficult. I think um, separating the seeds from the gel, that's a difficult part. But here you can see I'm using uh, flax seed that I got from Walmart, and I am boiling it on the stove. The thing is, when you're making flaxseed, you have to continuously stir it because if you don't stir it, it's going to get all stuck to the pot and we don't want that. If you find that when you're doing this, the gel gets a little thick, you might want to add some more water. If you find that it's a little watery, just make it boil a little bit or add some more uh, flaxseed. In terms of how long you make the gel boil for, it's actually, I would say eyeball it because it might be different depending on how high or low you turn your stove. And here's a little helpful tip. Make sure you have a really good strainer when you are separating your flaxseed from your gel. As you can see, this was unsuccessful on my first attempt. And you can also see that there, there is still some flaxseed in my gel. But for me, I didn't really mind that because this was my first attempt doing this. And I was going to wash the seeds out of my hair anyway. So again, get yourself a good strainer. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult. So I used, um, I don't know what this is called, but like a cloth-like strainer that I got from the dollar store. And this made separating the gel from the flax seed significantly easier. And as you can see, I also got myself a really um, big container. As I mentioned earlier, I used the flaxseed gel in my hair for seven days. And I was super shocked with the hair growth that I saw at the end of the seven days. And essentially, I would apply this in my hair um, all over my head. I would massage it in and I would leave it in for about one hour for the seven days. And then I would rinse it out. So with flaxseed, I didn't even know there were so many health benefits um, to flaxseed. I didn't know that you can use it as a gel, you can use it as a oil, or you can even sprinkle flaxseed over your salad. Like I legit had no idea about that. But what makes flaxseed so incredible for hair growth is that it helps circulation on your scalp, right? And that actually prevents your hair from breaking. Black seed is also rich in vitamin B and it also helps to promote stronger hair follicles and I think this is exactly why I was able to see hair growth in the seven days and again with my 4C hair I would probably see these results in like a year. It takes a while for my hair to grow so I was actually super shocked again by these results. For the seven days, I applied the flaxseed gel all over my hair. The process was a little bit gooey because as you can see, it felt a little gross at times if I were to be like super honest, but um, it does make your hair grow and it does make your hair softer, or at least for my hair. It made my hair softer. Um, I noticed that at the end, my hair was significantly shinier. As you can see in the before clip, like my hair was dry. Like it was dead and dry and I definitely um, 
you know, felt a softness to my hair after the seven days. And I think just in general, because the texture of the gel is so like slimy, it's actually disgusting, but it feels good and it actually works um, on your hair. So make sure you do part your hair and you try to get in there and you apply the gel all over your hair. Just a tip, when you're applying the gel in your hair, you might want to use a towel or apply it in the shower. Just because I was videoing this for you guys, I made sure I did it while sitting down. But just a tip, it can get a little messy. Um, so make sure you apply it maybe like in the shower. Um, apply it the same way you would conditioner or shampoo in your hair. Um, just spread it all over your hair and massage it in to make sure it's getting right down to your scalp and to your roots because you really want it to get in there um, to make sure that you see uh, the results in the seven days or for however long you decide um, to use it for. Personally, I would say the longer the better. Like, I'm still using it because I really appreciated the results that I saw um, on my hair after the seven days. If you want your hair to be healthier, I would suggest using flaxseed because honestly, it's inexpensive and it works. I know that some people say they leave this gel in their hair for 24 hours or for however long, but I personally just left it in for an hour each day um, for the seven days. So as you can see, I definitely saw differences in my hair. It was definitely shinier. It felt a lot softer um, at the beginning before I started using flaxseed uh, gel, it was my hair was just dry. It was hard to comb through. Um, but definitely I saw a shine to my hair. Of course, this was literally my hair without any oil or any other um, products in it just after um, rinsing the flaxseed uh, gel out after um after seven days so as you can see my hair grew like if you go back to the before clip you can see that my hair as i said is very dry and short um i would say i got maybe i didn't quite measure but i did use the comb as you can see to measure the length and the length of my hair is actually taller than the comb that i am using to comb my hair out and that was not the case at the start of the week so i think i got maybe two inches um you know on my hair uh, after the seven days all right, guys, thanks for watching. If you found this video super helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I will see you in the next one. It is Miss Work in Progress.